everyone. Welcome back to this kitchen. Today I will show you how to make an authentic Chinese breakfast. It's called a Chinese fried dough stick, also known as you tiao. I usually make the dough the night before. First, I'm going to mix the dry ingredients. 500 all-purpose flour, 4 grams baking soda, 4 grams of baking powder, 8 grams salt, And the next is the, the water and the 15 grams of oil. Put the oil into the water and the one large egg. And give it a stir. Slowly pour into the flour. We don't want to knead in too much of the, the dough. Just mix well and then once we don't you cannot see the the white flour, it's ready. And also it's a very wet dough. Okay, once it's mixed like this, now we're going to use the hands to knead it. Okay, this bread dough is ready. So I'm going to use a plastic wrap to wrap it and put it into the fridge for overnight. So the next day in the morning, you get up first Thing, to go to the fridge, get out of the dough and let it back to the room temperature, take at least a half hour. After half hour, now I'm going to put some oil on the board so the dough won't stick to the board. Now we can open the, the wrap and get the dough out of the bowl. We don't need the dough, just to put it on the board. This is kind of big, so I'm going to divide it into three pieces. Leave the other two in the bowl. Okay, so we don't want to have a lot of gluten, so just don't knead the dough, just stretch it out. And you can use a rolling pin to roll a little bit. The rolling pin should be covered with some oil too, so it won't stick on. Rolling the, rolling the dough into a red ankle shape. And the thick should be around a three millimeter. Now we're going to cut into small pieces. Try to be even, around a half centimeter. Two pieces together. And use a chopstick to push down in the middle. And make sure the side has to be stick together very well. And put it aside. The dough is ready to fry. Summertime, I like to use my barbecue grill so the fried oil won't stay in your kitchen. And find the biggest pot in your kitchen and put a lot of oil and wait until the temperature reaches around 200 to 200 Celsius. Okay, let's go get started. Put a lot of oil and let it heat up to at least 200 degrees. You have two ways to test the temperature. 
One, if you have a thermometer, you can use the thermometer. That's more accurate for sure. 189, so almost ready. Or you can use a chopstick. Put the chopstick inside. If you can see the bubble around it, it means it's ready. Okay, the temperature is perfect. Before we put the dough in, just give a big stretch. And the middle part go in first. And quickly stir. Use a chopstick, constantly move around. So this way, it will bubble up. I'm going to cut it and look at the inside. Very soft and airy and also the crunchy. It's perfect to pair it with uh, soil milk. Just dip into the soil milk. Perfect breakfast. Thank you for watching. See you next time.